Hi everyone. Ah. <laughs> oh, hi everyone, it's Lynn from Halo Vintage. And today we are gonna do Slum Gullion. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it is a, a lot of people think it's American goulash, but it's actually just a stew, um, a cheap, well, the Webster Dictionary calls it a cheap, insubstantial stew. Um, it's you, it's what you have on hand. Usually it's meat with a tomato base and whatever vegetables you have on hand. The one that um, recipe that I'm doing is actually from the Unwatched Pot from 1975, written by Paula Franklin. So let's make some slum gullion, gullion, slum gullion, which actually means <laughs> slime, mud, cesspool. <laughs> so I thought it would be appropriate for Halloween. So let's go make our muddy slime cesspool um, and let's get to that ingredient table. I'll meet you there. All right, the ingredients that we need for our slum gullion, two pounds of ground beef that we will of course brown up, one large chopped onion, one clove of garlic. I have two here because it was kind of small a cup of chopped celery. We'll get that chopped up. We need 18 ounces of tomato juice, one packet of spaghetti sauce mix, and then we need one pound of corn. Um, I have frozen corn. This is, we buy it fresh from the farmer and then we freeze it ourselves. And then at the very end, we're going to mix in one cup of pickles. So, Let's get this all chopped up and get this browned. I'll see you at the stove top. So the meat is pretty well browned. I'm going to add the um, onions to this. It doesn't say to, it just says to add it all to the crock pot, but I'm gonna add the garlic and the onions to this before I add it to the crock pot. So we're just gonna saute this together for a few minutes. Well, Things happen. I thought I was videotaping. I did add my ground beef to this that was all um, browned up. I did add the celery and our 18 ounces of tomato juice, our packet of spaghetti sauce, and then I did add, it wanted a pound of corn, and I had this frozen bag that we bought fresh, well, we did fresh from the farmer. So I added half of that bag of corn in here. So we are going to cook this for um, three to four hours on high or five to six hours on low. And we'll come back when it's done. All right, everyone, our muddy watery hash stew actually it's not bad i really do enjoy the pickles in it mm. they had said to serve it over a bun but i think i'm gonna do some macaroni and do make it like kind of like a goulash but it's not bad um i think if you did put macaroni in it though it would make it seem more like american goulash um, so whatever you got on hand, vegetable wise in your refrigerator, chop it up, do some ground meat and make some slum gullion. Um, you never know, you might have to stretch out your food budget once in a while. So with that being said, this is Lynn from Halen Vintage. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for helping my channel grow. I'll see you next week. We're going to do a pumpkin cake. Um, yeah, for Halloween. So see you then. Bye, everyone. Stay retro, my friends. Bye.